Chlorine is chlorine, right? Well, there's more than one type of chlorine in your pool water, and if you're not keeping track of each one, your pool may not be as clean as you think. The key to keeping your pool sanitized is understanding the difference between free and total chlorine. Check it out. So what are the different chlorine measurements in your pool? There's free chlorine, combined chlorine, and total chlorine. So let's start with free chlorine. When you add chlorine to your pool, it dissolves and forms hypochlorous acid. This weak acid disassociates in the water, combines with oxygen, and forms hypochlorite, an oxidizing ion. It's the same active ingredient in household bleach, and together, these chemicals form free chlorine. Why is it called free chlorine? This is the chlorine that's free or available to sanitize your pool water. And this is what you test for before making adjustments to your pool water chemistry. And when you add chlorine, you're increasing the amount of free chlorine in the water. So you wanna aim between one and three parts per million with three parts per million being ideal. Next is combined chlorine. Once the free chlorine begins to react with contaminants in the water, it becomes combined chlorine. That free chlorine oxidizes contaminants such as nitrogen and ammonia. The available chlorine is used up, combines with the contaminants it's working against, and boom, combined chlorine. Some chlorine remains in the water, but it can't sanitize as well as free chlorine. And this is also how chloramines are formed. Chloramines are what give your pool that chlorine smell, and too many chloramines can irritate your skin and eyes. And finally, there's total chlorine. Total chlorine is the sum of combined chlorine and free chlorine in your pool water. If total and free chlorine levels are the same, there's no combined chlorine in your water, meaning none of it has been used up yet. If the total chlorine is higher than the free chlorine level, the difference of the two is the combined chlorine level. Bottom line, in order for your pool to be properly sanitized, the free chlorine level must remain higher than the combined chlorine level. And you need that free or available chlorine to sanitize your pool. So test your pool water regularly with test strips or a liquid test kit. If you're looking for an easy to follow tutorial that'll answer all your pool questions, go check out our pool care handbook and video course. You'll get over 30 in-depth video lessons and a step-by-step -step downloadable guide covering everything you need to know about pool maintenance. It's packed with money-saving tips so you can save money and time keeping your swimming pool clean. This is the ultimate manual for every type of pool, including in-ground, above-ground, and in-tex blow-up pools. The best part is we always keep it up to date. So once you buy it, you have access to the latest and greatest version for life. So because you're watching this video, you can go to swimuniversity.com slash pool and use the promo code video. If you missed anything or have any questions, please leave a comment to let us know and to help your fellow pool owners. And hit the like button if you found this video helpful. If you want to learn more about pool maintenance and troubleshooting, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and check out the pool care handbook and video course at swimuniversity.com slash pool. Don't forget to enter the promo code video to get 10% off. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.